we go. So the bottom of the deck, we got truth reversed. So there could be somebody who is having a hard time accepting the truth about something that they may have found out about. Um, or it could be saying that somebody is ha having a hard time taking a look at themselves and realizing their wrongs, Leo. But we do have <clears throat> forgiveness reversed, Leo. We have peace. And then we have empowerment. So I feel like somebody could be having a hard time forgiving another person. I feel like there it could be some form of resentment towards another person. Maybe they did try to apologize and ask for forgiveness, but they may have been rejected. Um, some of you guys could be holding resentment towards somebody that you may have been in a commitment with. Some of y'all may be married to this person still, or you was at the time if this energy has already passed. But I'm seeing, it looks like somebody that has a, a bright gown on right here. So somebody could be married in this situation. Some of you guys could be holding resentment because this is somebody that you was in a commitment with. And they turned around and married somebody else. I am getting that energy, whether the new person is engaged currently or the person, the new person is actually married to the to your person, your old person. But I am clearly seeing some form of resentment because somebody may have married another person. Some of you guys, it could be somebody you used to work with. Whether this is a co-worker, a manager, a supervisor, maybe it's a business person, but or partnership or something, but I am seeing that a lot of you guys may be, you know, finally getting ready to, to basically have peace over the situation, you know what I'm saying, after being upset, after holding some form of resentment, you could be giving it to spirit, you could be giving it to your angels, just whoever it is that you believe in, Leo, you could be giving it all to God, so you can have peace. So you can have, you know, control over your emotions in this situation. Because it's like you come from being upset, Leo, mad, to actually finding peace. And learning from whatever it is that you may have been through with this person. But for the most part, it is clearly seeing that a lot of my Leos was upset because somebody that she was in a commitment with may have walked away from you to go be in a relationship with somebody else and married that person. Some of you guys may have also been married while they turn around and married another person. I am seeing that energy also. Some of you guys, I'm also getting this energy where y'all could be bringing some form of peace with a mother figure. I am getting that also. Y'all could be coming to some form of um, peace with a mother figure. Maybe this is somebody that may have passed away, Leo. Maybe you was grieving this person and you finally, like, I'm, I'm getting this energy where you may have not got along with your mother. This is going to a whole other, totally different message, but it's saying that some of y'all may have not got along with the mother figure or father figure before they passed away. You know, and maybe you was upset with this person while they passed away, Leo. But I am seeing that y'all could be finally coming to terms that you need to be at peace so you can be happy, Leo. You know, and you it's like you, you could be forgiving them after you was not forgiving them. It's something like that. I don't know what's going on, but some of y'all have somebody that may have passed away that you didn't get along with. But um, I'm just getting this um energy where y'all could be at peace with it now or at peace with the situation now. You know, whether you was grieving over the loss of this person or whether you was upset at this person. But some of y'all may not even be a mother figure. It could be uh, um, the person that turned around and married another person, Leo. This could be somebody from your past that you was in a, a relationship with. And maybe they have passed away, Leo. Some of y'all could be widows or wh I say a widow or widower or something like that. And you see, maybe you was upset about, you know, about this person before he passed away. But 
I'm seeing something comes to some form of peace in your life, Leo, where you have control over your emotions. We got solar, um, I said solar, we got this, the sacral chakra. So, okay, if somebody is woke, like, if, so, if somebody is in the physical still, Leo, this person could be holding resentment towards you. Maybe you are the person that married another person. This could be vice versa. So, that could be it. Maybe you are somebody that married somebody that, that was close to them, Leo, or got engaged to somebody that they worked with or something like that. I don't know. But I am clearly getting a sacral chakra. So this is somebody who is holding some form of resentment and they having a hard time controlling their emotions, Leo, and their desires and their urges to want you. It's like they mad that they it's like they want you, Leo, but they can't have you. You see what I'm saying, Leo? And it's because you could already be married or engaged to somebody else or you could still be upset at this person and may not want nothing to do with them. I'm seeing different messages for different people. But somebody is mad because somebody may not want nothing to do with them no more. That's what I'm really seeing. What else do we have, Spirit? We need two cards, and that's it. Victory and success. Yeah, somebody is definitely not happy because you're you're ignoring them, Leo. You you ignoring somebody. You're not giving them your attention, you know. And it's because y'all could be guided to end it and move on and focus on your own self and whatever it is else that you got going on in your life. But a lot of my Leos could be feeling guided to leave this situation with this person in the past because they have something something better for them. Spirit has something better for this person. Yep, y'all got a new love coming in, Leo. A lot of my Leos have new love coming in after you walk away from somebody, Leo, that may have, like I said, for an example, may have it got engaged or married to another woman, Leo. And like I said, some of y'all, this is somebody you worked with. This Your person may have got married to somebody that you work with like i said this stands out so much because remember it's like a gown this person is wearing and then we got empowerment some of y'all y'all boss it's y'all supervisor co-worker or something this has to be secret i'm telling you this person is secretly screwing this person if you don't even know if you don't know this but some of y'all do know this person is just messing around with somebody that you used to work with leo And that's probably why you're giving them the middle finger and ignoring them because you will never be able to forgive this with this forgiveness reverse. Like if they so-called happy, happily married and at peace, why is they upset? The simple fact that, you know what I'm saying? That you don't want to do with them. This is weird, but it is what it is. Probably upset because you're not chasing them and you're not kissing their tail. That's probably what it is. But we got the two of swords right here. Reverse. Yeah, it's because you're not stuck on them anymore. You're definitely not stuck on, on this person anymore. And they don't like that. They expect you to be chasing after them and wanting them because they married somebody else. Um, no. Yeah, they, this person. This is somebody that um that was getting around, messing around with other women or another, you know, men, whatever it is, whoever it is that they was talking to, but it's clearly saying that you could, you, you're not stuck on this person anymore. You have completely moved on. So create a reverse. Yeah. You will never go back to this person. You will never, y'all, some of you guys, it could be telling yourself that you won't go back to this person. But then again, some, I'm also seeing somebody will take that chance. Most of y'all are not, though. Y'all not, mm -mm. y'all not foolish at all. You're not taking this chance, Leo. Because you know this person is just trying to manipulate you. You will not allow this person 
<clears throat> to manipulate you. And this person hasn't even changed. This person hasn't even changed. You have you remaining single and just being strong and rebuilding yourself back up again. Some of you guys have accomplished a lot ever since you left this person, Leo. Mm. Clear intuitive messages, please. Clear intuitive messages, please. I keep hearing he screwed somebody you work with. I'm telling you, some of y'all, this person definitely did been was screwing somebody that you work with and married the person. That's crazy. Yeah, this person just wants some form of control, y'all. That's all, cause they think you're a fool. But you're not. You're 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 not. You're not. You basically see it though. You see what I'm saying? You ain't. The blindfold is off of his two of swords. You know what I'm saying? They think you're stupid, but no, you're not stupid, honey, at all. This person just wants some form of control over you. Ooh, financial loss. Some of you guys, this person could be experiencing some financial losses, right? They're taking some financial losses right now. And maybe they could be trying, wanting to come back to have control over you and your finances. Because like I said, y'all been doing good without this person. Y'all have been accomplishing some things, Leo, without this person in your life. Some of y'all, this person dumped their own um, debt on you. I'm getting that energy. Maybe this person left you in debt. I'm seeing that with these two right here. At one point in time, maybe they did. And maybe you had bad credit for this, um, because of this person. At one point in time, we got soulmate right here. Some of y'all, this is just a regular soulmate. This is not, I'm not hearing it's the one, but it's just a regular soulmate. To be honest, everybody is like our soulmate in a way, right? No matter what. Doesn't mean that they are your romantic soulmate, but this was just the finance. Some of y'all, this, this was just a soulmate, a regular soulmate. That you had to learn a lesson with in regards to finances, Leo. Because when you ignore this person, you're blessed. That's exactly what it's saying right here. I just caught on to that energy. You ignoring this person, Leo, you're blessed. Because like I said, once again, y'all have accomplished a lot without this person, Leo. I keep hearing that. Some of you guys could be manifesting a new soulmate. But I am seeing that there could be a soulmate in your dreams, Leo. Whether it's an old person that you're dreaming about or a new person that you're dreaming about. But somebody is dreaming about a soulmate, Leo. But I'm going to go ahead and end it right here. If it resonates, like, comment down below, subscribe. Y'all be blessed.